If you guys haven't heard about this already, Bethesda actually decided to reveal a very, very important future update coming to the game, which will introduce expeditions where we will be uh, actually able to leave West Virginia, aka Appalachia, and go to the pit, aka Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, originally seen in Fallout 3. I'm very excited for this DLC, of course, and in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about how I think this will change Fallout 76 forever. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So again, a lot of updates have come to Fallout 76. There have been some real big ones here and there, like Wastelanders, which I, of course I think changed the game so much. It of course changed it forever, and that was the big update. It's my favorite ever update. There's a couple of more. We've had some little updates like the Fastnacht Parade. We've had updates like Steel Dawn and now Steel Rain. I wasn't too much of a fan of Steel Dawn or the Brotherhood of Steel stuff, which was added into the game. I'm pretty excited for the new content, though. I think some of it actually looks cool, and I'm actually looking forward to maybe exploring it and see what, of course, happens in there. But this update particularly is, I think, is what going to and potentially make Fallout 76 into a much bigger game, especially if Bethesda advertises this right. Basically, how the developers actually talked about this new update is by saying that the pit will actually be sort of like how Far Harbor was to Fallout 4, where, of course, it wasn't a part of the main map, but you, you got to, you know, take a boat and go to a complete different location, get a whole new story, and you basically left everything in Fallout 4 behind and started this new journey, but with the same character you had. Basically, of course, you probably won't be taking a boat, you'd probably be taking like a vertebrate or something. But we get to experience Pittsburgh, of course, 174 years before the Fallout 3 story. And what's really, really cool about this is, it actually leaves the door open for us to explore much more locations in the future. Before the pit actually came out, Expeditions was supposed to come out in 2020, but the Bethesda developers actually delayed it, saying that they had a multiple locations they wanted to go to, where you'd be able to go and do maybe one quest in each location, but they thought to themselves, hey, why don't we actually make this a big thing and turn those multiple locations into one location but make it a full story similar to Far Harbor. And that's exactly what they've done where they, you know, of course, picked Pittsburgh. Now, a lot of people thought it was going to be the Capital Wasteland, aka Washington, D.C., or potentially Chicago and even New York, after some of the leaked pictures that we've, of course, gotten, which were in the game files that a lot of people have practically seen at this point. It is really, really cool to see these pictures. You know, of course, they have been leaked in the game files. A lot of people will have seen them. I don't think we'll go to New York in the future. I think that will be more of a Fallout 5 thing. But the fact that we will potentially be exploring Chicago or maybe even the Capital Wasteland again or potentially other states close by to West Virginia like Ohio, Kentucky, and Virginia is a very, very cool and promising you know, kind of thing for me, because, again, if they do really well with this pit DLC and bring in a lot of former Fallout 3 players and Fallout players, a lot of people are going to be wanting to see what's next. Not just that, the Appalachia map is kind of already, you know, filled out. Like, once all this new Brotherhood stuff comes out, I think, you know, maybe the north side of the map uh, could maybe be explored a little bit more, like they could add maybe some stuff here and there. But hey, the map is getting pretty filled out. I think the story is practically complete with, of course, Fallout 76. I think it'd be really cool now to explore other locations. And that's what I think we will get. I think the pit will be the first one. And I think while they're working on the pit right now, I think they've been working on this for quite a while, of course. This was supposed to come out last year, but got delayed. And if it's coming out in 2022... That will have given them over a year and a half to be working on this pit DLC. Which makes me think in this year and a half, they're probably going to be working on another DLC as well. Which I would like to think would be Washington DC. I think that would be, of course, really big. I think the pit will be the experiment though to see if this does work. I think they'll go full out and do a Washington DC. Okay, pretty much nearly a Fallout 3 remastered, but 200 years before that game takes place. 
And of course, I think that will get a lot more players in. It's not like as well they haven't done an experiment with this. For those of you who haven't heard, we actually got to go back to the Capital Wasteland, aka JNR Plaza, in a Fallout 4 creation club, which basically it was just a little quest. We got to see what it you know looks like now in the upgraded engine, of course. Three dog wasn't really there, but it was a really, really nice quest. And basically what it ended up being was Bethesda actually experimenting to see if they could port, you know, some of Fallout 3's assets into Fallout 4's engine. How hard would it be to kind of remaster some of the assets and then, of course, make it into a quest? It obviously must not have been too hard and they must have liked what they saw because now we've got, of course, this full big project with the pit that I think a lot of people will really, really be enjoying. But just the prospect of going to even Ohio really really does make me happy for those of you who didn't know i'm a massive cleveland fan in sports i love the cleveland browns and i love the cleveland cavaliers it'd be really cool to you know maybe see them explore some of ohio i think they'd probably explore more of cincinnati because that's the closest to appalachia but hey it'd be cool to maybe see cleveland i know kentucky might be on the cards of course the capital wasteland which is relatively close will be on the cards and i think chicago from the leaks that we've had they'll definitely be on the cards most likely as well. So how all of this, you know, potentially goes will be very, very interesting to see. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest gaming content, you know, Fallout content, uh, Bethesda content, all of that type of stuff. I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. What do you guys think about this new pit DLC? Do you guys think it will change Fallout 76 forever? Do you guys think it'd be good or do you guys think it'd be bad? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel, MIRO slash Long Channels, if you haven't already, which I will also link in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>